Use of force was the theme of a recent media open day at the Thames Valley Police Training Centre in South Hampstead. Get back! Here, officers are trained how to use reasonable force in a hostile scenario, which is appropriate and necessary to achieve their lawful objective. But this goal is not without challenge. I can put us, uh, uh, give the best training, I can, I can recruit the best you know, quality, quality officers, but all it takes is one uh, uh, highly edited clip uh, which appears on social media, which gives a very skewed view of what really happened, which does affect trust and confidence, uh, sadly. But there are ways officers can challenge and prevent the spread of online misinformation. So we do have models or scenarios, I should say, which incorporate, again, a mass gathering of, of individuals when they have to deal with one subject. We issue body-worn videos to uh, uh, all our officers, all front-end officers. They have them on all the time when dealing with any incident, and that's an opportunity uh, for us to uh, not just learn, but actually push back and very quickly uh, you know, reject that as a, a spurious complaint. In this mock scenario, officers demonstrate one way to correctly deal with a subject behaving erratically at a home disturbance. Hey, ambulance, yeah, it's the police. Uh, we've got a male who thinks struggling with acute behavioural disturbance. Uh, he's really erratic, he's taken off his clothes, he's sweating, uh, he's not making much sense, he's making animal noises. We're concerned he's going to go into sort of cardiac arrest. <laughs> What we can do is show what is really, really going on, and we have we have scrutiny panels not just around stop and search, but our whole complaint system, where we have members of the public uh, reviewing how we investigate those complaints. 